about amphibians, a guide for children. Written and illustrated by Catherine Sill and John Sill, and read by Mr. C, the teacher. Amphibians have soft, moist skin. Here we have a picture of a red salamander. Most amphibians spend part of their lives in water, like this bullfrog. And part on land. Here we have a couch's spadefoot toad. Amphibians hatch from eggs laid in water or wet places. We have a photo of a spotted salamander with the eggs. They change as they grow into adults. Look at this life cycle of the American toad. From egg to tadpole, growing back legs, growing front legs, and losing its tail to it becomes a toad. Some amphibians have tails, like this picture of a long-tailed salamander. Others lose their tails as they grow up. Here's an eastern narrowmouth toad. Amphibians have many enemies. Look at this northern leopard frog hiding. Some are camouflaged for protection. Look at this gray tree frog. Others are protected by poison glands in their skin. The Colorado River toad has poison glands. Amphibians bury themselves and sleep through very cold or very hot weather. In this picture we can see a wood frog on the left and a green plains toad on the right. Some amphibians have voices and call to each other. This picture shows a spring peeper. Most amphibians eat insects, like this oak toad. Some may eat snakes, worms, and other small animals. Look at this picture of a tiger salamander. It is important to protect amphibians and the places where they live. Here's a picture of a Pine Barrens tree frog. Here's some more information on all those pictures and on amphibians. Amphibians have glands that secrete mucus to protect their skin and keep it moist. They can also breathe through their skin and water passes in and out through it. Red salamanders, which are three to seven inches long, live in clear, cool streams or under nearby leaves, rocks, or logs. The word amphibian comes from a Greek word that means living two lives. Most amphibians live in water when they are young and on land as adults. The bullfrog, which is about three and a half inches long, is North America's largest frog. Bullfrogs are usually found in the plants growing at the edge of ponds, lakes, or streams. While some amphibians remain in water as adults, most live on land. Almost all return to water to have young. Spadefoot toads get their name from a sharp-edged spade on their back feet that allows them to dig down into sandy or loose soil. Couch's spadefoots are able to tolerate dry conditions and even semi-desert by staying underground. Amphibian eggs are covered with a clear, slippery jelly that protects them. 
The eggs hatch into tadpoles or larvae. Spotted salamanders lay about 100 eggs in a mass. They attach the eggs, mass, to branches and stems in the water. The process of change amphibians go through is called metamorphosis. During this change, most grow legs and lungs so they can live on land. American toads have a long musical trill that is commonly heard in spring in much of eastern North America. Salamanders have a slender body, a long tail, and usually four legs that are about the same length. The tail of a long-tailed salamander goes four to seven and a half inches long is nearly two-thirds of its total length. When a tadpole develops into a frog or a toad, it loses its tail and develops long hind legs that enable it to jump or hop. Eastern narrowmouth toads are small, one to one and a half inches long. Nocturnal toads, they eat mostly ants. Many animals, including birds, snakes, and mammals, eat adult amphibians. Fish and other small water animals eat amphibian larvae. When fleeing an enemy, the northern leopard frog makes zigzag leaps until it reaches the safety of water. Many amphibians are able to hide from their enemies because of their protective coloration. Some have bright colors that warn enemies that they taste bad. The skin of the gray tree frog can change from gray to green in order to match its environment. The warts on a toad's skin have glands that give off a poison that burns the mouth and throat of any animal that tries to eat it. Toads do not cause people to have warts. The Colorado River toad is a very poisonous toad. A dog would probably be paralyzed or even die after biting this toad. Because amphibians are cold-blooded, their body temperature is the same as their surroundings. They become inactive by hibernating in very cold weather and estivating when the weather is hot and dry. Wood frogs are the only North American frogs to live above the Arctic Circle. Great Plains toads are able to live in drier habitats by burrowing down into loose soil. The calls of male frogs and toads attract mates and warn other males to stay away. This sound is made by a vocal pouch located in the throat. The song of the spring peeper can be heard up to a half mile away and is one of the first signs of spring in North America. Frogs and toads capture insects by flicking their tongues out. Once the prey is stuck to the tongue, it is quickly pulled into the mouth. Oak toads are the smallest toads in North America. Amphibians swallow their food whole. The small teeth of some amphibians are used only to grasp and hold their prey. Tiger salamanders are the world's largest terrestrial salamanders. Amphibians are very beneficial. Many eat insects that destroy crops and carry disease. They provide food for other animals and are used in scientific research and education. Some experts believe that the declining numbers of amphibians indicate problems in our environment. We can protect amphibians like the Pine Barrens tree frog by preserving the wetlands where they live.